There is a watch made in Russia that I think any watch enthusiast knows and many watch enthusiasts, many watch collectors, when they start collecting watches, maybe they should start with this one because it's all over the world recognized brand. It has a in-house movement, what isn't very common by watch brands and the finishing maybe you can have some remarks to it but it will do trust me it will do it's made full from a stainless steel and of course it is a vostok it is a vostok amphibia in its basic version from chistopol city in russia of course i bought mine on ebay in january 2019 in my opinion, it is the best source to buy a one and I paid for my 60 euro, so it's about 71 dollar. And let's check the prices today. We have also different amphibias with better finishing, but mine, similar to mine, costs today about, uh, maybe not this one, but yeah, this one is similar, this one also, and oh, here is the same. So, $90, 71 comparing to $90, it's increased about 20%. Very popular one is this one that has a scuba diver on its dial. So, it looks like it's maybe not state of the art of watchmaking, but it's doing their job, is made fully from stainless steel, basic bracelet. I will come back to this later and let's review it after almost three years of wearing this watch. What I can say about it. So it has two directional bezel. The whole case is a full stainless steel, polish, nothing brushing. Plexiglass is on the top. The loom here maybe isn't funky, but it will do, definitely it will do. What I measured wearing the watch during a sunny day, it stays about 5-6 hours. Because we have here a diver watch, it has a screw down crown and when you unscrew it, you have a feeling that it will immediately fall off or something is uh, broken. But don't worry, everything is okay. Here I have to say one thing, one remark about this watch. The movement in this watch doesn't have a quick date set feature. What in my opinion is a little bit annoying I have to say here, because if you would like to change the date, for example, after some time uh, when the watch wasn't worn, you have to just turn the crown or you can speed up a little bit just going to one o'clock and then going back to nine o'clock and again go to one o'clock. But if you wear your watch every day, you don't have to worry about this either. With the crown, you can uh, change the time and of course you can wind the watch manually. Remember always to screw back the crown. Okay, the watch isn't the smallest thing on the world, so let's take some dimensions. So it has about 41 millimeter diameter and uh, let's check here, well, almost even 42. Now the lock to lock distance and it is uh, yeah, not so big, so 40, let's make it here. 46.5 so it's not very long now the thickness and the thickness here i have a little bit different case back so it's a see-through case back i change it so with this case back it has 14 14 and half now lock width it has 22 so pretty wide now I would like to say a very important thing. So Vostoks are making watches from a very, very long time. And I have here three examples. And this amphibia is about, I know, at least 40 years old. 
uh, here the tire and the hands are replaced so that's a not original but the movement itself and the case are fully original here it's hand winded movement inside and it's not an automatic movement therefore it has a little bit different dimensions let's check it so the log width is 18 and the thickness is of course 12 millimeter but Vostok's not only are doing military watches they started with military watches but later they also were doing something for civil markets and here is an example gold plated dress watch I would call it like that later I will also check this movement on a time grapher so stay tuned okay let's come back to my model so people actually like modding these watches because everyone would like to have something original and individual and the first thing that I would recommend you should think about it is the bracelet because finishing of the bracelet isn't the best here so it's quite loose folded plate of course what you buy depends from you but I have here a few examples this one maybe is too small but the mesh bracelet would be a good choice I have also this bracelet it's uh, some kind of also mesh bracelet I think with this one it will look quite great actually I bought it for a different one uh, here is maybe something more substantial uh, maybe such a bracelet on eBay or Aliexpress doesn't cost a fortune about $15 and you can get something reasonable Vostok's Vostok's Amphibia can be both with a different cases so they have quite a lot of shapes here are three examples but they are also different one with a round case or something more angular another thing that I changed in my watch was the exhibition case pack because we have here a in-house movement I thought myself it would be worth to show this movement and to see the movement from the outside not only to hide it behind this case pack now it has only 100 meter water resistance with this exhibition case pack but see here this pattern this one helps to increase the water resistance into 200 meter also quite a lot of people are doing some brushing on the sides or on the bezel but of course if you don't want to do this you can buy a bezel because ah, this watch it has so many variations that I'm pretty sure you will find something that fits you let's now take a look into the movement because here I have the hand winded version and this version is actually a base to all Vostok's movements that are produced today here we have this crown so it looks like and so it works let's wind a little bit so uh, this movement was invented actually I have no idea when but actually a pretty pretty long time ago it's a basic movement with shock protection and it has quite a lot of variation it even has a GMT complication and this movement hand widened movement is exactly inside this watch and also inside this watch I will of course check this movement on a time grapher on this dial we have a Russian carrier Kuznetsov here uh, why people don't like this bracelet because yeah that's my hair so you can make a conclusion on your own therefore I think in the future I will also change the bracelet ah I didn't mention so everything on the whole the watch comes to you in this plastic box I have here also spur links and we have also a manual here everything written in Russian I bought mine in Russia 
and we have here also technical data of this watch so this is the caliber movement here we have number of stones this i don't know what it is also not this this is 200 meters here what is written i have no idea but here we have the accuracy of the movement minus 20 plus 60 seconds a day 31 hour power reserve i think it is a little bit more and the service intervals are 10 years so pretty pretty long anyway the accuracy i will check in the moment on a time grapher because i don't believe them and here is 1942 since this time this company exists in Chistopol city and that's the reading i think it's respectable 16 seconds per day uh, and very good bit error or actually no bit error lift angle here by this movement is a 42 degrees and it has 19,800 bits per hour let's check now this old one is gold plated dress version of Vostok and wow this one is even doing very very well but it has about plus two seconds a day even uh, the amplitude could be here a little bit better so I think this movement or this watch needs service but I think I cannot complain about its performance uh, maybe let's check now this amphibia this old amphibia that is probably 40 years old or maybe 35 uh, this one isn't doing so good or maybe the time the accuracy here is of course very good plus 12 seconds a day but the bit error here so this one definitely needs some service okay that's all that's all from my side i hope you enjoyed this video and yeah that's uh, my conclusions my feelings about almost three years of use this watch so it's still doing well and if you would like to have this one or you are considering buying of course check links in the description down below i think it was a good purchase goodbye so thanks for watching, keep safe, take care and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye.